Spirit family and welcome back. For those who are new, this is Spiritual Findings of the Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn. And today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Taurus for July 2019. When I say general reading, guys, it's going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July. Alright guys, I am excited to do your reading today because I am currently off grid. Yes, no electricity, no running water, no cell phone service. I, right now I am just grounding. I have my feet in some very luscious moss. I really like these readings because I feel I can get a little more in depth. Um, my insight's better, my intuitive side, as well as I know last year when I did these readings, there's a lot of spirit animals. I mean, you can hear all the birds. You know, you can hear when the mountain breeze picks up. Last year we had the presence of crows, woodpeckers in some of the videos. Right before I started doing this video, I currently, right here on the ground, is a large um, hard shell snail, okay? Um, so the spiral symbolism or, you know, the spirit animal of a snail you know if you look it up guys um i do have a spirit animal book if you guys want to comment below you know hey vera tell me the snail i want to know more about that just comment below and i'll give you some feedback but i love working with spirit animals um i also just seen right now a daddy long legger crawling across the ground so maybe you guys also have the spirit animal of a spider too as well look it up guys you would be very shocked sometimes when i do the spirit animals like, for instance, this one gentleman, I pulled a mouse for him, and he was like, oh, a mouse. Like, I wanted something mighty, like a tiger or a black panther. But once I told him about the mouse, and he re he rode a passage, rode, he read a passage from the guidebook, he was actually very shocked. Okay? You'd be, you'd be surprised at what these spirit animals can really bring into your life and inspire you. All right, guys, so we do have a lot that's going on for July, okay? Oh, just, that wasn't good. <clears throat> edit, the, edit that out. All right, guys, so we do have a lot going on for July. There's a lot of eclipses, lunar and solar, so that's different from other months, okay? On the 2nd, July 2nd, we have a solar eclipse in Cancer, so that might bring some changes regarding your finances and your family. The lunar eclipse in Capricorn is July 16th, so that might bring out your responsibilities, okay? Might, this might have people on edge because it's going to push them out of their norm and change them out of their normal routine. And as we all know, people don't like that. You know, I know my Taurus is, once you guys get very comfortable, you don't, you don't really want to do anything to change, okay? We're creatures of habit. We all are, okay? But something's going to push it. You're going to get a message or something that's going to change that, okay? And your ruling planet, Taurus, Venus, will be entering Taurus, I'm sorry, will be entering Leo on the 27th, okay? And on the 3rd there, will be entering Cancer. So you're going to have a lot of Cancer emotions going on, you know, maybe there's things that you need to address regarding your relationships, okay? You could be single and it might be addressing that or, you know, maybe tuning things up in your marriage. When it comes to the career side, I think it might be your responsibilities and how you feel in the role in your workplace. You know, are you treated as an asset? If not, if it's time to change, you know, you guys got to take the responsible route. Look, start looking for something else. Put in your two weeks and respectfully leave your jobs. Don't be burning any bridges, my Taurus friends. Okay. All right. So a lot of go, a lot of stuff going on for the whole month of July. So just it's. It's, you know, beautiful chaos. Chaos brings change. Okay, Taurus, so just look forward to that. All right, so I'm gonna start here, this reading. I did say this was a card reading, right? But like I said, I kind of dive into my intuitive side, the insight, you know, talking about the spirit animals. You know, this is what Mother Nature is giving me as a divination tool. And I like to bring those messages to you. I know a lot of people just like to see the card play. But when it really comes down to it, um, a lot of psychics and mediums, we don't even really need the cards. We kind of just do it because it's something is more satisfying. You guys can see the illustrations and it does spark some inspiration. But... Overall, I just had a beautiful black and blue butterfly that just flew by, okay? 
strong presence he just made. I know you guys didn't see it on the film, but he did go right by. All right, so anyway, <laughs> back to the cards. And another butterfly. All right. <clears throat> I'm surprised I got this table to be still here. I am on top of the mountain, guys. This off-grid stuff, I love it. You know, my Taurus friends. I am a moon Taurus, guys, so I can really represent, I mean represent, <laughs> relate to you guys. If you don't know your moon sign, put your full birthday below. Okay, and I will find out your moon sign. I love chatting with you guys, too. Tell me where you're from. I do have a giveaway that I wanted to talk about. I'll show a picture of it. It's a gift basket that has a salt lamp, tarot deck. You know, it is spiritual findings with a gypsy soul's one-year birthday. It was in April, so I wanted to celebrate it with a giveaway. All you have to do is share, subscribe, and comment below that you've done all that's needed for the giveaway. I only have, like, ten people on the list so far. So go ahead and share it, guys. It's a really cute basket. I am only mailing it to people within the U.S. I'm sorry because it is a heavy package. But um, it's really cool. It's a little healer's box, I call it. A little healer's basket. All right, back to this reading. I'm sorry for the rumbles, the rambles. It sounds like your communication is real off because I have been doing some readings and my words haven't really been, like, slurring or, like, stumbling together all jumbled and messy. So, it's, I feel like your communication is off, okay? There's something that you need to say to somebody. It might be love-related, which is really hard. When it comes down to it, bringing those messages from the heart out through your mouth is sometimes terrifying. You know, if you're single and wanting to tell your friend, like, hey, look, like, I've had a crush on you or, you know, do you want to try something new is one of the biggest steps you could possibly take um when it comes to your career if you're not being respected and you almost want to tell your boss to go f themselves or your co-workers or whatever it might be you know obviously find, find a little bit more of a mature way but make your voice heard you know i think maybe it's time that some of my tourists step on their soapbox okay maybe think about what you want to say don't go off handle um and respectfully in good karma make your voice heard okay All right, so we already have the Seven of Swords pop up here. So I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of coming from a situation where you might have been more in favor or, you know, it might have been a tricky relationship or maybe the line of work that you do is... Maybe you got more from a job recently, you know, skill-wise, kind of feeling guilty of maybe leaving a place that has taught you a skill set so early. Um, some of you guys... Maybe just leaving a relationship that could have left you, you know, you were about to be... And at, at a bad point. Another butterfly. All right. So we have the Hierophant, Taurus. This is your card. So you're making more of a presence in your life now. Um, it's more needed for some of you guys who aren't quite at that chapter yet. Take those steps, whatever it might be. You know, start tuning up your body, start tuning up your resume. Um, whatever it is to slowly get you in that mindset of taking charge of your life you know you might not be completely in that position yet whether it's like you haven't graduated from school or i know some of my people are stuck in relationships and unfortunately stuck in a residence and even have children in the mix and that is something that you kind of slowly have to line things up in order to be able to leave and you know, a manner that doesn't make you go insane, okay? Because I know a lot of people hang on to relationships because it's just, it's so hard to find your own place and move or move back with your parents or whatever it might be. I mean, even just talking about it gives me anxiety. So get yourself in gear, you know, dive into your spirituality. Definitely do some resting, okay? Make your voice heard, okay? Make your voice heard. Give and take too with you having the six of pentacles when it 
comes to your finances, make sure that you're not spending on things like food or alcohol, clothes you don't need, cable, whatever it might be that you're like, wow, yeah. I mean, if you add up it in a month, that's just way too much money to be spending on that. Or when it comes to your relationships, just make sure you're not asking too much of your partner without willing to compromise, you know, different areas and, you know, give back. It can't just be take, take, take. Also in the same manner, Taurus, can't just be give, give, give. You can't just let people leech off of you, okay? Move forward. You gotta find that good balance, okay? Gotta find that good balance. All right, so I'm thinking one from the fairies today. You know, we are out in nature and the fairies do represent an earth, an earth element. You know, I am an earth sun, earth moon. Okay, guys, so I love it out here. I feel like maybe you guys just need to take that short vacation, whether it's, you know, camping, hiking, going to the lake or beach for a day. But Taurus, you need to take some time for yourself. Maybe just, you know, take a, take a trip by yourself, you know? clear your mind start meditating again meditate in nature all right i know i feel at home here i'm excited to be here you know i feel like i'm getting in contact with my ancestors better up here it's just the air's fresher no distractions with cell phone service or just the hustle and bustle of life and i feel like you guys need to put your mindset there all right because earlier, I mean, my communication was all crazy. I feel, you know, some of you guys are just juggling a little bit too much. Okay? Take that, me that mental break that you need. You need to take care of your mind, body, and soul, Taurus. Alright, one from the fairies. Let's see here. If you guys would like to book a private reading, just message me. I do live streams a lot too, guys. So if you want to go ahead and ring that notification bell, you will be notified when I do live streams and I do sometimes free readings on them. Okay, so this is a very cute card here. Look how beautiful is that. Your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Okay, and I really feel like that comes along with you making a strong presence in your own reading is there's something that you need to manifest better you know you might have been stuck comfortably somewhere or you know it just wasn't too bad to change it but things are going to change now you're going to kind of find your own okay you're going to get your manifestation skills up and running Taurus maybe with that little vacation that you're going to be taking it's going to put your mind where it needs to be all right, your wish is granted. What you have asked for is coming true, Taurus. All right, so I did mention the free giveaway box. All you have to do is subscribe, share, um, comment below. All the rules are, you know, I'll post it down below in the description box as well as I'll link a picture because obviously I didn't bring the gift box off grid because it is pretty heavy. It's got like a nice little size salt lamp it's got tapestry incense sage you know that's all kinds of good stuff in there your own tarot deck which is the one that i've been reading for the original one because i know a lot of you guys want to start reading tarot um and you know subscribe and ring that notification bell because i've brought in a lot of spiritual studies side on to the channel i've been starting to add different videos other than just readings okay so some educational stuff guys it's very fun and I hope to see you guys for a live stream because my spirit family here on Spiritual Findings, we are a really nice group to have in the chat room. You know, I took a little bit of a break there, but I'm back doing the live streams more often. And it's just a whole bunch of fun. Okay. Shout out to all my Tauruses that have been joining me on the live streams. You guys are great. It's, it's a wonderful family. You guys are so educational. You know, we do tarot on the live streams, but we also talk about some really deep spiritual stuff and I just love it. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to cut it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the nice, scene that I've provided for you. The birds have been wonderful. Take in count all the spirit animals that I have mentioned in this video and do your own little research, guys, okay? Because spirit animals are 
nature's divination tools given to us, okay? Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Vera Lynn. You guys have a beautiful July.